Hi there, and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Uh, now today we're going to look at connecting up the track uh, to the hard standing of the new engine shed that uh, I built recently. So that was the scale scenes engine shed and if you go back to some previous videos and there's a link up in the top corner uh, that sort of goes through a how it was built and also the installation of the removable hard standing into the baseboard. So as I mentioned today's exercise is basically to get the uh, track connected up to the main yards, do a little bit of testing and then also do a sort of a final we uh, video shoot uh, with some locomotives running in and out of the new engine shed. So firstly I'll go through a speeded up video of how all the track was connected up but I thought I'd just show you beforehand uh, one of the methods I use particularly in laying track amongst yards where you often have small little bits of track that uh, need to be installed in between sets of points and so forth and I actually use and I have a tub of track here now this is what some people might throw away and find not terribly useful but I tend to usually keep bits of track like this and this is really set track so as opposed to the flexi track and what I'll do is I'll go through and find some set track that might be very close to what I need and then I will alter it to suit. I just find that manipulating the set track, particularly when it comes to tiny little wee pieces, for example like little wee short curves, it's easier to work with this than it is to work with the flexi track. And if I need to alter the curve just slightly, I just cut the back of the plastic base between the sleepers and you can actually sort of physically bend the track to a slightly different curvature if you need to. So this stuff's extremely handy and you know there's all sorts of different pieces in here and this is the stuff that I use that sort of connects up all that uh, yard area. So without further ado let's just get into it and see how the track laying turns out.
Right, well, that's got the track laid. Now, I won't deny the fact that I do employ some rather cowboy tactics when it comes to soldering on dropper wires. So in some cases, I have soldered underneath the rail and then in other situations, I've soldered on the side of the rail. But I'm not too fussed about that because this can be all concealed uh, once we have possibly a little bit of hard standing that may go in here. Now I've also wired up the engine shed base so I'll just lift this out and show you the what I've done and essentially what we have in here is one of those terminal blocks that actually has a plug on it so if we take a close look at that uh, that's essentially what we've got and it can be unplugged these terminal blocks are actually pretty good for doing things like this so that's a simple case of plugging that in and we have two spare terminals here which of course I will use for the lighting so that's got the track all connected up in terms of the power and the uh, next thing now and most important thing is to actually test a locomotive on both tracks and just make sure it's all working. So there we go, uh, that was the class 20 being used as a test locomotive and I thought I'd use a sound locomotive, uh, one that doesn't have a stay alive capacitor in it, just so I can check if there is any dead patches in the track because the sound would of course cut out straight away if uh, such dead patches did exist but it seems to be all working quite well. So uh, the next step now is I'll put the actual engine shed back onto the hard standing and then we'll connect up the lighting and do a wee video shoot with some other locomotive movements in and out of the engine shed.
So there we have it, uh, the class 24 uh, in BR Blue and then we had the class 9F Crosty coming out and as you would have seen I desaturated the footage to black and white just to add a little bit of nostalgia to the steam operation. So uh, there's still plenty more to do in this area around the engine shed. There is loads of scenic work to be done. This includes ballasting and paved or tarmacked areas and also some yard lighting as well. So hopefully over the coming months uh, this area will progress and uh, there of course will be some future video surrounding this particular area. So thank you all for watching. I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode of Station Road. And uh, as always, take care everyone. Look after yourselves. And uh, I will catch you next time. Bye for now.